Welcome to Make a Path Presents, I'm Ronnie Hayes, and this is Revisiting The Last of Us. I believe we're on part 6. Now for those who don't watch the videos outside of this, I just wanted to show you this really cool Joel and Ellie Among Clickers. And what's so cool about this is it connects to Rick Among the Walkers, which also, and there's a hidden Negan Walker in there too, but it also connects to the rider among the creeps and you can actually see a Ronnie Hayes creep among there, a Ronnie Hayes zombie. Now if you have no idea what that is, I'm coming out with a comic book that I've written. James Milne is doing the artwork. He's also the artist who did these images that connect together. Here you can see them how they connect together. Really cool images separately and together. They mean a lot for me specifically, but if you love The Last of Us and you think this is a cool piece, really awesome. I'm going to put a link down below just in case anyone's interested they are super cheap you know helping him helps us because he's putting a lot towards coming out with doomsday kingdom that's the name of my comic coming out next month uh, sooner than that for digital so keep an eye out anyway let's go here we go we left joel and ellie where they got out of bill's town and they're now on the road Look at that view. Oh, perfect. Beautiful. Now what? Now right now they're starting to build a bond. You know this is, and I love this. They went through that tr that they went through hell together during the bill. You know, Bill's Town. And it's you as a as the player. You know what I mean? Going through hell and protecting Ellie. And now this just pushes it one step further. This is a direct threat, not a creature threat. Perfect placement in the story. Easy. Perfect placement for the player. Help. Fuck yeah. Are we gonna help him? Put your seatbelt on, Ellie. Joel no. Joel about knows the guy? better. He ain't even hurt. Today, bud. Wow, you look like a meth head son of a bitch. Nice. Oh, it's on. Done. <laughs> I don't know why it stalled just there. Motherfucker! What's wrong with these guys? Catch your breath. Usually it's so s s fluid, you run up, boom. But this is like, you run up, stop, and then boom. <laughs> Stay down! Hey, asshole! You should be dead, asshole. Oh, man. Woo! Right back in the fucking window. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, bruh. I ain't worried about you. I ain't sweating you, homie. <laughs> Woo! I didn't kill you? Oh, I fucked that up like a son of a bitch. There we go. 
There's no way. There's no way you're alive. Okay. Shit. I got this. Not really. Come on, Ellie. Come on. I think that's the last of them. You okay? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> guess so. <clears throat> Roger that. That wasn't so bad. Made a few mistakes. <laughs> Missed a couple shots. But it wasn't that bad. Now let's find those fucking goodies. What's this? Oh, that's not... That's not a goodie. Oh, that's stupid shit. Sure as hell ain't going back this way. Damn, empty drawers, man. I even let me open them. I get it though. I'm just teasing. I think maybe the no, no, that'd be stupid. Hey, what are we doing over here? Yeah, I was gonna say maybe the empty drawers are for like easy mode. They'll have stuff in it, you know, since it's easy. All right, I think I checked all that. I don't really want to bore you guys and run through that again. So let's do this. She's still trying to whistle. See if you can get it propped open with some. Um, there's some pretty gnarly stuff in here. Ellie! Right. <laughs> okay, go! Alright, I got it, I got it, I got it. And the reveal. Damn. Oh, um, full? Well, let's... Let's do something about that. 
Damn. Shoes, jacket, wait. Eight, six shoes, miscellaneous clothes. Eight, nothing. Everyone too busy chasing down that damn crazy chick. Eight, eight shoes, crazy chick. Hmm. I wonder if that comes into play later on. Maybe I should know that. It's drawn a, I'm drawing a blank on it, though. Damn, look at that shit. See, this could have been us. Man, that is a lot of people that didn't make it. I knew I should have turned the damn truck around. We lived. Barely. Come on, let's get out of here. Nothing, huh? Crafting speed. No, I'm not worried about that. I feel like I should be doing better on the pills. Maybe I'm not finding enough. I feel like I'm looking around know? a good amount. No what? About the ambush. I've been on both sides. Yeah, I see that. Huh. I've been on both sides. So, uh, you kill a lot of innocent people? Hmm. I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> Take it however you want. I guess this is where the assholes are. I mean, slept. It's a shitty place to sleep. Bye bye. Improved effective effectiveness of first aid measures in the field. Splinting splints are used to stabilize a wounded body part. While rigid items are ideal supports. Da da da. Extend this one beyond. It's a shithole to live in. Fucking hell. Oh man. Which way to go? Oh, nice. <laughs> what the fuck is Ellie doing? Ambush map. All the times I played this games, I've never. I was about to say I've never looked at a map before, but I guess that's fucking uh, pointless. It's not a real map. <laughs> let's do this. All right, let's go. Ninety-seven. All right, let's do this. Yikes. Holster for second long gun. That'll be a lot of my shit, though. No, nah, that's a good one, though. Yeah, that's a real good one to have. Yeah, I'm doing that. Doesn't leave me with much, though. <laughs> Reload speed. Gotta make this shit count. Clip capacity. Yeah. Wait. Fire rate. 
range on the bow. That's another good one. You know what? Let's go with the clip capacity. Yeah. Yeah. That looks good. Yeah, see? That's good. Oh, I don't think these guys were infected. But it don't matter. Let's just keep moving. View of the town? Shit. Oh. All right. Here's the bridge. That's our way out of here. <clears throat> hey, Ellie, slow down. Wait for me. What? Right here. How about you let me go first and keep your voice down? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I fucking love Ellie. <laughs> She's a riot, yo. They have a great combination between the two. Uh, I think it, that has a lot to do with the, the writing, but also the the actors, the voice actors. Well, they're also doing this. I'm whistling. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. Something else you can drive me crazy with. See that? Something else you can annoy me with is what the subtitle said. But yeah, it got a lot to do with the voice actors and how well they connect. <sighs> oh, look at that. Ellie! I think I found another one of them comics you've been reading. And this is another thing, I'm sure you guys are well aware, this is another one of those small, subtle elements that connects you with Ellie, the character, plus the, uh, I think in this aspect, it, it adds to the story in a small way, but it adds to the, um, the player getting more attached, you know what I mean? Because we get some satisfaction out of making other people happy, so... You find something that someone wants. It's the same thing in real life when you buy, you know, someone you love. You see something that you know they're going to like and you get it for them. You know, totally different in a small way. It's a lot smaller, but it... it I mean that it, rip, it, you know, connects you into the game more. I'm trying not to make it sound like it's <laughs> as serious as buying somebody you love a present, but it's kind of the same thing. It's the same... Yeah, it's the same shit. It's fucking good, okay? <laughs> Bottom line. I'm stuttering because I love this scenery. I fucking love... Like, this is gorgeous. Look at this. Come here. Hold on, Ellie. Look at this. That. This street. These cars. The green. Overgrowing and everything. Look at that. Sign falling down. What is that? Is that a sticker on the... Oh, quarantine zone sign. Huh, I'll be damned. What happens when the food runs out? Yeah, like shit like that. It tells a story of people and shit going bad after shit has gone bad for such a long time. Look at that, just fucking beautiful. What was that? Oh, no. Let me get down. Yeah. Whoa. Where did you learn to shoot? Come on, Ellie. Move. You had an entire flock. You did nothing. You're about to hit me. Ah. Yeah, you're really upset. Well, if you want some lessons, you know, I'm more than willing to help you out. Thank you. Thanks, Ellie. Got another batch of tourists. Fuck my gold mine, lucky bastard. 
See if there's anything you can forward while we wait for. Ain't nothing here. Keep going. assholes are up to. They pull this crap every time. Now I swear to God, if they are holding out on us again. Yeah? Then you'll do what? Shit, run Ellie, they ain't playing. Yeah, that was! <laughs> One bullet left. Oh, fuck, nice. I could have sworn I might have picked it up. I could have sworn it was something. Oh, maybe it's this guy that I was thinking of that I didn't take his shit yet. could do that or I can look for some fucking goodies Ellie I think they're supposed to really walk around but I got the vibe that those guys were just gonna like all start walking towards the you know so I said fuck it let me burn them alive because that's fun yeah too bad they weren't chicks <laughs> even better <laughs> That was a joke only a few people will get. Okay. Ooh, yes. Oh, fuck. Ready? It doesn't matter how much you push the envelope, it'll still be stationary. <laughs> what is that? It's a joke book. No pun intended. Volume 2 by Will Livingston. Let's keep going. <laughs> what did the Confederate soldiers use to eat off of? Civilware. Uh huh. What did they use to drink with? Cups. Dixie cups. <laughs> I walked into my sister's room and tripped on a bra. It was a booby trap. <laughs> a book just fell on my head. I only have myself to blame. Or wait, I said it wrong. Hold on, let me read it again. <laughs> a book just fell on my head. I only have my shelf to blame. <laughs> Ruined it. <laughs> what is the leading cause of divorce in long-term marriages? A stalemate. That's awful. You're awful. Do you even understand what that means? Nope. Doesn't matter. Okay, I'm all joked out. <laughs> now what? <laughs> how? How the? Who? What? The bridge looks pretty far. How the we'll fuck get did there. you get here? Whoa! I thought she was behind Strange me. Strange seeing a checkpoint with no soldiers. Well, this is what most zones look like. This place has been abandoned for a while now. Yeah, goodies. Give us our rations. I 
Well, we lost Troy Hill to the most raging, wait, ragtag pieces of maggot shit ever to carry a gun. Bastards are cunning, though. They stole one of our mortar launchers. We didn't stand a chance. With this and Strip District in their pocket, they now control the whole river. Made for a sing wait, made for a difficult retreat. There's barely half our squad left. I just pray to God that Jeremy and Pam are still alive. They got stranded on the other side of the river. Why wouldn't they give them their food? Sometimes they ran out. Most times they just held on to it. That never happened in Boston. Trust me, it happened all the time. Bastards. You'll die before we starve. down while we're going through this area. You head off. Same bullshit talk. Shit, there's quite a few of them. He says we can set up a larger perimeter. What is that really gonna give us? I don't know, maybe we find some gas, get some more generators going. But I'd like to restore one of those old projectors, watch some movies or something. That shit ain't happening. I've heard that expansion talk way too many times. And every time we try, it ends up... How do you know, maybe things will be different now. Keep your expectations in check, youngin. You live longer. Now what? Now what is the question? Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Uh oh.
Yeah, we killed a good amount. Oh shit, where am I going? That was the end of it. I was like, I'll run up. Why waste a bullet? I'll just run up to him and smack him in the fucking head. I guess this is right where I left off anyway. That's cool how that. more yeah all right somebody wants to play with me all civilians seeking resident status must go through the following checks documents Rachel. check infection scan decontamination security screening oh, oh fuck we're not reading all that Shotgun rounds to kill that fucking guy. I don't know. Hey, Wrong button. Around. Fuck what? Hold on. Why the hell? There's a notification block in some of the screen. Hold on. I had to shut it down. Whoa! We got each other, huh? Jesus, Joel. Here it comes. Yeah, here it comes, all right, buddy. Woo! Surround him! By the gate! What you yeah. do? <laughs> oh, fuck! Yeah. Oh, shit, Ellie! 
You're not dead! You're fucking dead now. <laughs> Fuck Ellie. If it wasn't for you, man, I'd be I'd be toast. That was my fault. I, for some reason, I wanted to aim at his head, head, and I, I was aiming just fine. No, reload your gun, bro. Holy fuck! <laughs> How many more are there? Unavailable? What's unavailable? I'm heading this way. Check over there. Oh, fuck me. Oh, fuck! Holy shit! Looking at <laughs> good shit, Elio. <sighs> Ellie, not yet.
that other guy this is taking longer than I thought it would but I don't care cuz I fucking love it where are you at there you are <laughs> don't tell me that didn't hit him you got a shotgun motherfucker I you ain't hitting me Yeah! <laughs> Redemption, son. Excuse me. Savage Starlight. That comic I've been reading? That's what the hero says after a big battle. Endure and survive. Yeah. <laughs> okay. They're burning books to keep warm, it looks like. Or reading next to the fire. Uh, home of evil. Baby shadow. Fear the diaper. Oh, jeez. Man. In Austin. Look at all these books. Jade in Austin. I wish I had more room in my backpack. Oh, so you're a reader, huh? Well, when year I'm not round running away from infected. Yeah, I read all the time. <laughs> So, for every other part, you know, I like to ask a, a question like, how did you hear about it, or what do you want to see transfer over from, you know, part one to part two, like the listening mode and shit like that. But I think another good question is, uh, how many times have you played The Last of Us? Is this something that you played and beat, and that's it maybe you watch other people's pl other people play you talk about it stuff like that that's it or have you played it twice maybe three times have you played it on all the difficulties um because i'm i know i'm sloppy i'll admit it i'm definitely sloppy maybe i should try not to be so sloppy and see how well, well i do like with com Ellie, you scared the fuck out of me. I thought someone was in my house. <laughs> These are good uh, headphones. I'm fucking. I'm looking around like I just pissed myself because she's whistling. I thought somebody was in the house with me. Like fuck. <laughs> anyway, so how many times have you? Did you play it? Beat it? That's it. That's a wrap. Or have you replayed it? Because I'm sloppy, but my daughter likes walking around and she'll play. Like she won't start. She won't beat the whole game. You know, play the whole game, but. She'll play levels. There's hard, hard levels. She won't fight the bloat or I'll do that for her. I don't let her watch like the David scene um, with the hunters and stuff because that, that's pretty brutal. But um, I will. I must have played levels like Bill's Town, random different levels, just a ton of time. But like I said, sloppy though. I just run, run and gun. That's it. Like no stealth. Because usually I'll be busy doing something and Juliet would be like, oh, dad, I'm stuck on this part. I'll just pick up the control, run in there like a nut, kill, kill, kill. But she's got it on easy, though, so I think that kind of made me sloppy. Like when I was studying martial arts when I was little, the uh, teacher, I learned, or no, I learned about, I think his name's um, Kano. He did uh, judo, but it's a certain type of judo, if I'm not mistaken, if my memory's not deceiving me like Kodokan Judo and he would never train with anyone that was not up to his level because he said training with people who aren't on your level makes you sloppy you know what I mean which is definitely good you don't want people training like pros fighting you know <laughs> people that can't fight worth the shit for a training partner because then they you know doesn't test them it doesn't keep them on their toes as much and shit um, Man, well, you gotta look be at crazy that. to string up soldiers. They get people desperate enough, they'll do just about anything. And the people that rose up, they're the ones we've been fighting here. That'd be my bet. Man, look at that. 
And this is what I mean. This is, I think this is the one criticism I faulted against, I leveled against um, Naughty Dog and The Last of Us, that there's such a ri rich environment, such a rich history, rich characters in the world of The Last of Us. Just give me one second, I'll explain this quick. That they can do a spinoff, a successful spinoff. Like just an uprising story alone in the quarantine zone. Um, tell the story that leads up to these three officers getting hung here. Like that's not the main thing, but that would be a part in the story. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, the people who do the uprising and then they leave from there, tell their story. Maybe even leave it off to where you could possibly continue it one day. But that would be so awesome because you have such a a non-intrusive connection to Joel and Ellie's story. Just that one little bit. The origin story behind... Let's see where this leads us. You know, this, the fall of this quarantine zone and shit. And you don't... There's no forcing anything. You're not forcing characters into Joel and Ellie's world. We don't see Joel and Ellie. It's just a spinoff. Watch yourself on these drops. And I don't know. There's so many different opportunities, I think, like that. But I think that would be so fucking cool, man. A little s now, don't get me wrong. If they said, do you want a spinoff or do you want us to work on La Last of Us Part 2 with Joel and Ellie? Last of Us Part 2 with Joel and Ellie all day. I want Part 2 and 3. Joel and Ellie for Part 2 and 3. You know what I mean? <laughs> and on top of that, I don't know. Fuck, man. I, sometimes I just wish... A witch wish they would just say you know what this is it we're gonna set up a team just to handle last of us and they can supervise it yada yada because you would tell the spin-off about the three or, or whatever other better idea you would do last of us part two they saw us maybe a last of us part three depending on if there's enough story there's our bridge and something we're a little closer I have always Thanks. wanted since I've Come played on. this since the moment it happened when Tommy tells Joel I forget how he says it but he talks about the 20 years and what happened in, was it Boston but this takes place right after he loses Sarah so think about it we can get a last of us freaking thing. prequel I don't know why I say it like that. We can get a Last of Us prequel that tells of right after he lost Sarah, and it's with Tommy and Joel. No Ellie. And I know, no Ellie, but we got Last of Us 2 for Ellie. We got Last of Us 3 for Ellie, possibly. And then, the spinoff. I mean, right there is what? Last of Us 2, 3, Joel's prequel. You got the spin-off. There's four freaking just video games alone you could tell. Man. And I think the characters in the world, it's big enough to do it. I can't it. make that jump. Get her up where? Yeah, imagine if Naughty Dog, they if they were down to do that. Fuck, man, it'd be four new Last of Us games over the next, you know, how many years? There we go. Staying around for that. <laughs> Let's get the Wait fuck here. out of here. What's that goes. all about? Which 
one is it? Is it that one? Set up that plank like they did. Need to find a way up. You guys, let me know what you think about that. Uh, the possibilities. Yeah. The possibilities of other games from Naughty Dog in the world of The Last of Us. There's just no denying. There's no denying they created a rich uh, environment. They created a, a world, like a whole new oh, world. This place stinks. That yeah, the woods all run. Has, you go to coffee shops a lot? In my I opinion. Did. All the time. And what would you get? Just... Just coffee. <laughs> the Last of Us, in my opinion, has as rich of a world, of a universe, as The Walking Dead. All day. If not, richer. And that's only because we haven't seen what's out there in the world of The Walking Dead. We follow one group, and we follow them for a long time. And they build a community, and that's it. With The Last of Us, we got these quarantine zones that were put up, you know, and they shelter people, and there's all these different stories you could tell with that. The fireflies, like the rise of the fireflies. It's a rich world, and there definitely should be more content coming out um, to capitalize on the world they already built. I just, I don't know. Maybe they are already putting things together, you know what I'm saying? For me, it seems like a no-brainer. I know they're really connected to Uncharted, and I respect that. That's what's up. But for me, Last of Us seems like a no-brainer. Like, this is fuck, man. Again, if I won the lottery, I would walk right in there and be like, Listen, Neil, I don't want creative control over shit. Here's money. Do you want to make, you know... You want to make this world stories in this world, da da da. da. And if he didn't, all right, fine. If he did, you know, I just want to pay to play, homie. <laughs> you know, maybe make a character in the game, Ronnie Hayes, just some asshole running around. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> it goes down tonight. We're gonna to take the Eastern checkpoint, a stash some extra supplies at the Regal Apartments. It's marked with a red X. No, I want my brick. Fucking hell. Something. What am I missing? Jump out there. Jump down there. What am I missing? No. Oh, that's it. Oh, I, for some reason, I, I thought there was more to it. Do you think those hunters are gone? We're about to find out. Yeah, we are.
It's clear, Ellie. Come on down. This is too rich for my blood. Oh, bet it was nice. I bet we can get up there. Oh, it's too high. Let's we'll see what we can find. I think they would make coffee though, right? No, 20 years, yeah, 20 years. Fuck. Yeah, because if they're not import importing coffee, because you have to import coffee. I mean, forgive me, that might be a stupid question, but we get so, uh, what is it called? We get so... <laughs> We get everything. We'll go. I don't know. Fucking. I don't know. <laughs> but I believe we import coffee because it doesn't grow good in the states, or it won't grow at all. You need like a different climate, maybe. Maybe I'm just talking out of my ass. Anyway. I bet people are, with all the people that died, I bet people are still finding coffee. That's probably like uh, a gold mine. You find all those people scavenging, find shit like that, I'm sell it. Up. seen a clicker in weeks. Because we're thorough. We're going to keep being thorough. Just wrap this up, right? All right, whatever. All right, we're going to stop there. It's a good place to stop because I think this is, uh, you know, close to halfway, if not a little bit more than halfway past the, uh, the stuff s surrounding the Hunter's Ark. You know what I should do? I should definitely try my best to do 9 o'clock, you know, tomorrow, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, I'm going to try to stick with that. So tomorrow, Eastern Standard Time, 9 o'clock on this channel. Look for the la Revisiting the Last of Us, the next part to be uploaded.